box seven medium flat rate box from my bulk buy i bought it on ebay to sell on ebay hey bolo buddies thanks for watching full-time reseller all right let's get started i have pre-sorted the items into wearable items I'm going to sell in small lots or individually, and items that are crafters items. Um, it's a lot of jewelry, 344 pounds is a lot of jewelry. If you guys have not seen the video where I weigh it, you should definitely go check it out. Um, it's amazing how much stuff I got. These flat rate boxes were filled to the brim and I spent hours the last couple days going through, I don't know, eight or nine boxes sorting so that I could just make a 15 minute video, whoo, sorry, instead of a hour video of me detangling stuff or attempting to detangle. I believe this is the crafters, uh, maybe not. Let me see here. That's odd. I was thinking this was the crafters. Yeah, yep, this is the broken jewelry. Like, see, somebody can probably, like, this is J. Crew. It's super cute. Somebody can probably put that back together pretty easily. Uh, so there's broken or missing a stone or uh, just tangled. Like, some of it's just tangled, and I didn't want to untangle it. Can't remember what's wrong with everything. This is just a broken piece, but somebody can use that to make jewelry. So this is basically for crafters. So I am gonna lock this with other crafters items from some of the other boxes and sell that as a, a lot. Um, I believe I had to plug my phone in because my battery was dying. Um, this is the stuff that I'm gonna sell individually or in small lots and the last few videos I've said that and I've ended up throwing it into the lot that I'm going to sell in bulk because I've decided that I don't want to put that much work into listing things individually because I have so much other inventory that I need to focus on. Uh, this little zebra item, I think it's like a zebra pattern. I don't know. I think it's really cute. I may try to sell that separate just because it's cute. I think this is a shell bracelet. I like that too. I have another one that was just in the last lot that I did. I might put those together. The other one is more gray. I think the other one's abalone, but I, is abalone this color too? I don't know. I think it's some type of shell. I'm definitely gonna try and sell this separately just because I think it's fun. It's a bangle bracelet and it's shaped like a butterfly. I had this out, I think it's shell too. Maybe I'll put that with the shell bracelets. This is really cute. I, it's just a costume piece. All of this stuff is just costume jewelry, but it's meant to look like a collar when you put it on. I think it's kind of fun. I think I'm gonna try to sell that separately. I think maybe somebody on Poshmark will buy it. Uh, this spiky uh, bracelet, this stretch bracelet, it's got a $16 tag on it. Some people really like the spike look. So I was thinking I would list that separately. I'm now feeling like I'm going to just let somebody else do it. Uh, again, same with this bracelet. I'm just going to let somebody else do it. I thought this was kind of Easter colors and I was thinking about doing it, but uh, let me see if I can find the, let's see if it's marked anything. It is Talbot's. I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. Like, I think it's very like Eastery. If I get it listed quick, I might be able to turn it. I don't know. I think I'll let somebody else do it. Um, I definitely want some good sellable items to be in my bulk lots, you know? This is some sort of charm bracelet. You guys might know. I don't see any, um, any brand on it, but it's got the cute little owl. I thought about listing that, but I, I, I need to think about that one. I think I'm going to hold on to it and no, I'm just going to let somebody else do it. <laughs> oh, this is kind of cute. It's like a, it looks like a watch band, but there's no watch. So it's like decorative. No, I don't think 
it says, oh, it's Avon. So it's just an Avon piece. So, and all of this stuff was untangled, but now you put it back in the bag. I thought about trying to sell this just because it's kind of a bulky, big statement piece, but I think I'm gonna let somebody else do it. Again, I was gonna do this but I just, it's cute, it's cute. Somebody will probably buy it. I don't know what that is. It's another cute little bracelet. Here's a, I think r &F is Roden Fields. Is it Roden or Rodden? I don't know. I thought, I was thinking I might like lot those together. Maybe I should look those up. I don't know. I don't know if I wanna mess with it, but I know that people in those direct sales, they collect that stuff. This is like an elephant pendant. I was gonna list it, but I'm not. This little elephant thing, again, I just like the little, I might try that one. I need to sell some of it on my own. I, I just, I take the lazy route and I bulk it up and I lose money that way, but it's just so time consuming. I thought this was kind of pretty. I think I might try to sell that. I don't know. I'm gonna think about that one. I'm. Everything that's going into this pile of I'm gonna sell it might end up in a, in a lot. Uh, these are really cute. I forget. I wanna say, oh, I can't read it now. Um, Ann Taylor, it's Ann Taylor. So it's a cute piece, I thought about selling it, but I think I'm gonna let somebody else do all of this. I like this little bangle. I was gonna do like bangles together, pearls together. See, these are knotted, so I don't know if those are real or not because I'm not gonna grind them on my teeth or whatever you do. This was cute. It was like a necklace with little uh, seahorses and stuff. I thought this bracelet was pretty. It reminded me of like Christmas colors. This uh, articulated fish was kind of fun. I don't see any markings on it, but um, I have earrings somewhere. I think I'm gonna hang on to that necklace and try to find the earrings. This is really cute. It's got like little flowers. It's very delicate. So I'm just gonna lot all this stuff up and I'm gonna let somebody else do it. This I might, it's got the tag on it. Let's see if I can read what it says. I don't know. It's Ralph Lauren though. I think since it has a tag, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna list it. I'm gonna take the plunge on that one. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what else I'm gonna put with this and I'm gonna sell it all as a lot and let somebody else, somebody else do it. Make some room here. So, like a tassel type thing. So it's just tons and tons and tons of stuff. This is kind of a cool looking bracelet. It's got seed beads and then this side is like a leather thing. So there's definitely um, items that are sellable in here. It wasn't like I just, this is kind of cool too. There's a lot of really cool stuff. There's another necklace. This is kind of neat. I think I missed showing you guys some of that. Some bracelets. Uh, there's a bangle bracelet. So lots and lots and lots of the jewelry. Know what that is. It's kind of like leather with pearls or something. Here's a couple more bangles. Some sort of shell necklace. Here's another one. This bracelet's kind of cool. I mean, it's obviously been dyed, but they're shells. And I did eight or nine boxes in two days. So... Could I have missed something? Yes, but I'm the second person to go through it. So I don't think that I did, but never say never. 
That says stainless steel. Does that? I think it says RL. Huh. RL. Wonder if that's Ralph Lauren. But it's missing some crystals, so I'm gonna add that over into the crafters lot. So I didn't catch that the first time. And I, this I'm gonna call wearable. So lots of time spent sorting and I hope that, you know, I can, that's why I'm trying to pull out some of the stuff because the hours that I've spent on sorting all this stuff, this is 21, forever 21. Um, it's like an $8 necklace, no big deal. So yeah, it is jam packed. I'm gonna do one more box after this, and I think that'll be box eight. And then I had, uh, that's kind of cool. I had one other box that wasn't, you know what? I think I had a necklace that went with that somewhere that I saw tonight. You probably saw it in one of my other videos. So I have one more box that I'm gonna do a video on tonight, and that'll be eight videos ready to go. <laughs> just whenever I, uh, I'm only posting these on Monday. So again, I didn't want to bore you guys with me going through all of the jewelry because that's just overwhelming. Uh, maybe if I was doing it live and you guys could comment and I could have some back and forth talk, but just me um, talking as I'm looking through jewelry. I mean, look at that mound of jewelry. So I got to figure out how to price it because I'm paying the shipping, which is probably going to cost me I would say probably around $15. I can probably get it in a medium flat rate box. I don't know. So we'll see. I'm gonna get it on Mercari and see how it goes. And I'm gonna price it a little bit high because people can make offers. And I have to take into consideration that I am shipping it. And I would think, you know, there's a lot of bread and butter items here. So, I mean, if you can sell 10 items for $10, that's a hundred bucks, you know, so. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Go check out one of my Bolo videos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can sell buy low and sell high. They're a great way to learn. And I'll see you guys at the next video. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.